All right, Edwin here from Resolutions Design, trying to make this quick video for um, <clears throat> my new subscribers and my clients and those who are visiting the website. Um, we're going to get right to this topic here, how to add products from Oberlo into the Shopify store. Mind you, this is probably the part four maybe video. If you look at my uh, channel, I have a part one, part two, and a part three as far as how you create a product and add it into Shopify, then how to add products into a collection in Shopify, and then finally how to plug your collections to the front end of the store uh, using main menu navigation. This special video is for those businesses who are using Oberlo as a distributor or as a supplier. And a lot of customers are actually doing this. A lot of merchants that are asking for web designs. You guys want to get your products from Oberlo or from AliExpress using Oberlo and you want to add them. Here's the challenge that Oberlo is having currently, which is frustrating many users and probably yourself. Oberlo is like a shopping experience where you get to kind of navigate and kind of click add and then just push it into the shop. But what Oberlo fails to do is train you exactly how to properly add it into the store and so that it's fully organized. Some of you guys figured it out, others are having a hard time and they hire developers in order to get this done. Sometimes merchants have over 1,000, maybe even up to 2,000 products from Oberlo that they want fully organized on their website which takes a lot of work and it makes the jobs very expensive. So the purpose of this video is to teach you, the merchant, how you could save some money, how you could do this yourself. And if you were to hire a developer, you know, the, the cost of the development is much cheaper because you took care of a very difficult task, you know, making your expert experience much more pleasable, right? So let's get right to this. The first thing that you're going to do is just select all your products. Right now we're in the Oberlo interface and this is just a random store that I'm helping out a client. Uh, they chose these products here, okay? So over here I'm just going to go back into the Shopify store from this client that we're helping out and I want to remind you that one of the things that we did from the previous videos is that we went into collections and we created all of the collections for the clients. See, this client is going to sell a lot of things, okay? So this might be you, you might have less, but the point is, is that all of the collections are already preset and they are automatic collections. If you do not know what automatic collections are, please see my chapter two or video, okay? So you can learn how to set all this up. So I highly recommend you set up your collections first. Don't worry about the front end on the website. No, work about a back end here and set all your collections first, okay? So as you can see here, very brief summary, if the collection's called toys, it is going to search the database of all the products, every product that has a tag which equals toys, and it's just gonna automatically add them here. For this example, we're going to focus on jewelry. So for test purposes, let's click on this and you're gonna notice that there is no products here. That's because there's no products at all. You know, we haven't even started yet. So, but once we get all this done, you'll notice that on jewelry, it's gonna show up on the website, okay? So we can see right here on the front end of the website. Um, coming soon, hold on. Okay. There's, there's nothing there. You know, we're, we're still at the inception of the website. Nothing's going on, right? So jewelry is somewhere. Let's see here. Gifts. Anyways, it's somewhere here, right? We'll go back to that here, jewelry. So if you click on jewelry, it's, it's, there's nothing there, right? So let's go over here to Oberlo. We first find all your products. You find all your products and you put it in the list. So Right here, we have eight products that are in the Oberlo list. We have selected the products already. The next thing we're gonna do is tag the products. A lot of people don't use this. This is so important. Some people try to use this collection. I highly encourage you to use tags instead, okay? Reason, it just works. It works especially 
when you have products that are not coming in from a very low rather if they're coming from a barrel alley it does not matter use tags instead it's so much cleaner and more effective okay so we're going to choose tags here and i am going to type exactly like on the website over here you see where it says jewelry i'm just going to go to this here and i'm just going to triple click this and i'm going to press copy go back over here and paste the reason why i want it exactly the same way is because even if it's like this or maybe I spelled jewelry wrong, I don't know. It's just not gonna work. It needs to be spelled exactly the same way as to how we have it programmed on the Shopify store. So save yourself some time, avoid yourself some human error, and just copy and then paste it. Once you paste it, press the comma button so that Oberlo can accept it, and there it is, okay? Remember, by just simply having it there, okay? Let's, let me just exit out of that and just press this. Look, Umbrella is a system that's just, oh, hold on. Let me just do that. If I just do that, see how it didn't save there? Yeah, they need some updates, man. But anyways, so I'm going to go right here, and I'm going to press comma, and that's how it's registered. You see, save successfully. And I'm going to do that for each and every one of these guys. Comma. Comma, right? And there might be some more products here. And by the way, these are just some random products. I'm not encouraging anybody. Oh, hey, you got to sell these products, you know, and I'm not going to touch these. OK, I'm just going to leave these as is. We're just going to focus on jewelry for now. They are saved and I am not going to select all products. I'm just going to select those that I'm trying to push to the store because the other ones are not relevant at this point for this training. OK, so I'm just going to select those and um, now, you know what? I'm just going to push the shop one each one by one i don't want to push the whole thing because there's some stuff that that we don't want to you know we don't have tags in there yet so don't be impulsive to push all products go one by one if you're just working in sets it's so much cleaner and easier so, to keep track of things so i'm pushing there there you go boom that's it right we're done with our barrel let's go back over here remember this jewelry no products let's press refresh before I press refresh, I'm so sorry, guys. Originally, this is what people do. And this is the whole reason why I'm making this video, because this is what normally what people do. They add all the products in here. They go to collection, okay? They go here where it says create a collection, all right? They go ahead and they press jewelry. Whatever, let's just call it jewel. They have it as a manual collection. And then this is what they do. They go right here and they're like, okay, this one and then this one and then you know what i mean and and then you're looking through this super long vertical list and and then you go is this a jewelry i don't see a picture of it so i don't know maybe it is let me just add it anyways it will take forever doing it this way and this is a manual collection by the way so i'm going to delete this collection i don't want that no in any case, look at this. It's all in there. That's it. It's done. We go into the store. It's in there. We just saved ourselves tons of time. Tons of time. Right? And that's the purpose of me expressing and making this video for all of you guys that are working with Oberlo. Okay? Um, and, and, and it's just, it just seems off. Things are all out of place and are organized with these collections. Okay. Work with tags. Look at my previous videos. Uh, make sure that you have created all of your collections. Okay. And make sure that they are all focusing on the condition that, um, so once you add the tags and you push it into the products, it automatically falls into the collection. Okay. One last thing. If you look at my part three video in this channel, you'll notice that um, I'll talk about how to connect your collections into your navigation system so that it comes out on the front end of the website. And this might seem a bit crazy to you right now, but you know, watch that video and it'll break it down. You know, you got to create the products in the collection first, then come over here and let's plug it into the front end so that once, um, there's products inside of clothes here. 
it is configured to focus on the clothes collection okay I hope that this video is very clear to everybody um, subscribe like the more people subscribe the more videos like this I will shoot out saving you time saving you money saving you headaches all right okay guys I hope you guys have a good one thank you very much